I think I've found my true endgame tactile. I've been a part of the tactile gang since my first ever review back in May, when I first got a taste of what a real tactile is like in the Akko Ocean Blues after trying the very linear Gator on Browns. Since then, I've been trying heavier and heavier tactiles like the Holy Pandas, Boba U4Ts, and even Zykos. But the cotton candy switches by Lubed have shown me that I've been going the wrong way, and that my endgame switch is actually a light tactile, not a heavy one. First of all, these switches look really, really nice. The nylon top and bottom housings are in this light pastel pink, and the palm stem is in a bright baby blue. These switches cost 65 cents a switch and are manufactured by JWK, but if you don't want to go through the trouble of lubing and filming these switches, you can get them hand lubed and filmed from lube switches for $1.30 a switch, which I think is fair. I didn't actually get these switches from lube because the shipping prices to where I live were too high for me. So I end up getting my switches from Monstar Gear, since the shipping costs stung a little less. These switches have a moderate amount of factory oil in the stem and spring, but according to Lube, you can just add your own over these instead of wiping it off and reapplying your own. They come with a 58 gram, 18 millimeter long gold plate spring, which provides a more snappy and explosive return as opposed to a standard size spring. These switches are 5 pin with no cutout for SMD RGB and have a little stem wobble to them. But while filming these switches will reduce the stem wobble, in my experience it has a tendency to bring out the spring pink even after being lubed, so I don't recommend filming these. I lubed these with Tribosis 3203 on the stem with GPL 105 on the springs. Here's how the cotton candy switches sound stock and lubed compared to other switches, and there'll be full sound test at the end of the video if you're interested. The cotton candy switches are very smooth stock. I'd say that in terms of feel alone, you can use these switches stock. Sound on the other hand, not so much. Like most stock tactiles, these switches have pretty audible spring pink and spring crunch, especially on the mods. So I definitely recommend lubing these as they heavily benefit in terms of sound and they do get smoother as well. Just make sure to not get any lube on the legs because the tactility is so light that even getting a little amount of lube on the legs basically turns these into linears. Speaking of the tactility, it's not even close. This is by far the lightest tactile that I own that also has a bump you can actually notice. Gator on Browns need to take notes. In my Holy Panda review, I talked about how I preferred lighter tactile bumps for long periods of time because it's less fatiguing on my fingers. And these take that to a whole nother level. I'd say that these are a light to mid tactile bump these switches have just enough tactility for me to notice while typing. I consider myself a pretty heavy typer, so I was a little worried that I'll just glide over the bump, but it's fairly noticeable. Enough to give you the sensation of overcoming the bump as you're typing. If you're a really heavy typer, like you're trying to hammer your keycaps into your board, you might not even notice the bump at all, since 58 grams is lighter than what most people use. In terms of sound, these are the quietest tactiles that I owned. It never really occurred to me that the heavier the bump is, the louder the switch gets, so I was pleasantly surprised that these switches were fairly quiet compared to the other tactiles I owned. They aren't silent by any means, but they do provide a nice subtle high pitched clack on upstroke, so if you're into clacky switches, you'll definitely like these. I had issues with some of my switches where they would have super pronounced ping even after lubing, and after some testing, I found that it comes from either the spring or the leaf, and the solution varies from lubing the leaf ever so slightly, or donut dipping the spring and lubing the bottom housing. I think that you're honestly better off paying the extra 65 cents for lube to lube and film your switches instead of going through each pingy switch and trying to fix it, since around 15% of my switches have this issue. Overall, in terms of feel, the cotton candy switches from Lubed perform phenomenally, and like I said at the start of the video, these are my endgame switches, at least for the time being. They won't give that same satisfying tactile feel as a heavy tactile, especially the Zykos, which feel like you're typing into a Mack truck, but they still provide that same tactile bump that I miss when I'm on linears, without the fatigue that usually comes from using heavy bump tactiles. That being said, the ping on these switches in stock form really let them down, especially with the ping issues I had after lubing them, which I think is really disappointing. But at least lubed have their lube and filming service available, 
and if you live in or around the US, the shipping price won't be so bad like it was for me. I don't currently own a keyboard that fully suits the sound signature of these switches, but the upcoming CL keyboard looks super nice and lilac, and I just got GMK 2Z from Extras on Daily Clack, so you might see a CL build video sometime in the future with these switches in it once the Extras go live. For now though, these switches get an easy recommend from me, just make sure to QC your batch of switches after lubing them. If you're looking to try out a tactile for the first time or want to try a lighter tactile, you'll definitely want to check these out. I'll leave links to everything in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.